On Wednesday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called on Chinese and Hong Kong authorities to free staff members of the pro-democracy media outfit Stand News, who were imprisoned after the magazine was shut down by police. We call on PRC and Hong Kong authorities to cease targeting Hong Kong's free and independent media and to immediately release those journalists and media executives who have been unjustly detained and charged. By silencing independent media, PRC and local authorities undermine Hong Kong's credibility and viability. Melanie Jolie Canada's foreign minister also condemned the detention of journalists in Hong Kong, including Dennis Hu, Hong Kong native who grew up in Canada. We are deeply concerned about the arrests in Hong Kong of current and former board and staff members from Stand News, including Canadian citizen and activist Dennis Ho. After the closing of convicted tycoon Jimmy Lay's Apple Daily newspaper, due to a national security inquiry this year, Stand News, a non-profit organization founded in 2014, was the most notable remaining pro-democracy publication in Hong Kong. The assault on Stand News has heightened concerns about press freedom in the former British colony, which returned to Chinese sovereignty in 1997, on the assurance that its liberties, including the freedom of the press, would be preserved. Following Beijing's imposition of a security law, the US has already levied sanctions on Hong Kong authorities and limited the territory's independent status under US regulations.